Welcome to UK Explored. In this video, we're taking a look at Slough and even Slough's local paper, the Slough Observer, says that it's the fourth worst place to live in England. So how bad is it living in Slough? Well, as you'll see in this video, I found everything from public space protection orders to rat infested play areas and a lot of stuff in between. For a little bit of background, Slough is a town in Berkshire. It's located around 20 miles west of central London and has a population of around 158,000. From a demographic standpoint, Slough's population is one of the most ethnically diverse in the whole of the UK and it's home to one of the largest industrial estates in the whole of Europe. I started out in an area called Baylis, which is listed as one of the most deprived areas in Slough and census data shows us that it is predominantly an Asian area. As soon as I parked up, I saw litter everywhere and other bulky items dumped on the street. And I also came across this public space protection order. It looks like Slough Borough Council and the Thames Valley Police are trying to crack down on people drinking and taking drugs in public spaces which makes sense, as well as urinating, defecating and spitting in public. Sounds great, doesn't it? It does say that you can spit on the floor and then collect it, so that's something, I guess. So breaking any of these rules will result in a fixed penalty notice of £100, apparently. But as you will see in this video, it doesn't look like many of the residents of Baileys pay much attention to signs and rules. Talking of signs, I took a look around Baileys Park, which along with Baileys House is probably the most interesting and most well-known landmarks that Baileys has to offer. Here is a sign saying not to feed the ducks or birds, written in three languages it looks like. And here is someone happily feeding the birds. Here is another sign explaining that littering is harming the environment and costing the council millions in costs. And that's also one that is ignored as you will see. Baylis Park is a huge open space and should be a public space that everyone can enjoy and experience some nature and some quiet time away from the looming industrial presence in Slough, but it's been trashed. As you can see, it's poorly maintained. There is litter everywhere. Drinkers leave their empties around the benches and kids play areas and it feels more like I discovered some sort of lost park than the centrepiece of the community. I guess it's also no real surprise that there have been murders, serious assaults and incidents like that over the park in recent years. I wouldn't chance passing through here at night, I'll say that much. Here is Bailey's house which is a grade one listed building that currently operates as a hotel and a business centre. It's holding up pretty well and feels quite out of place considering what it's surrounded by to be honest. The outskirts of the park is where a lot of the fly tipping happens as people try to somewhat hide it from plain sight. Here is a look at the shopping district to help give you a feel for the needs of the community in Baylis. And as I walk around the housing estates, you will see the usual mix of litter, mattresses and other bulky items that are left out. And to be honest, I've become desensitized to this sort of stuff, spending my time walking around estates like this. And that really shouldn't be the case. Overall, Baylis is clearly in need of more help than it's currently getting from the council. And the residents also need to play a part. And it does paint a picture of what Slough is like once you look outside of just the industrial side. Moving on to another of the most deprived areas in Slough, this is Britwell. Britwell is a residential housing estate and civil parish situated in the northwest of Slough and it neighbours the large industrial estate there. Britwell is predominantly a white area and it's another area in Slough that has a lot of flats and affordable housing. In particular, a lot of these yellow and blue blocks of flats span quite a large area. It also has public space protection orders in place because the area has a lot of social issues. There is also clearly a litter problem and it feels like you're never far away from something that's been fly tipped. 
Something Britwell does have going for it is that a lot of funds have been injected into the area in recent years. This is a fairly new and nice looking shopping district. And there are also some decent parks and public spaces to enjoy as I'll show here. I took a deep dive into the crime stats and some of the headlines for the area. There was all the usual stuff you'd expect from an area struggling with poverty, high unemployment and misguided youths. There are a lot of assaults, drug bursts and things like that. But the crime rate isn't that high actually, which usually means that a lot of the problems are insulated within the crime network. You can't do anything about the skyline of industrial buildings, but honestly Britwell felt like one of the better areas that I've been to in Slough and one of the better areas overall that has such a high rate of poverty on paper. Next up, we have an area called Chalvi, and this is where things got a little bit more interesting and definitely took a turn for the worse. Chalvi is located just south of the centre of Slough. It has the highest crime rate of any area in Slough with a crime rate of 163. And it is also one of the most deprived, diverse, and economically challenged areas in Slough. Chalvi was actually featured on a BBC documentary about immigration around 16 years ago. And even at that point, it was said that the area was overcrowded and most of its residents were immigrants. I think it's fair to assume that things have only gotten worse since then. And it was certainly a bit of an eye opener for me walking around the area. The fact that I came across not one, but two public space protection orders in Chalvi tells you how bad things are. This one here prohibits residents from drinking, taking drugs and relieving themselves on the streets. And the other prohibits some um, antisocial behaviours like loitering and blasting loud music from cars at night. Walking around the estates, I think you'll agree from the footage that it's pretty depressing. There is loads of litter everywhere. I can only tell you that it smelled really bad in most of the areas I went. And of course, there were loads of fly tipping spots. This block of flats here is being demolished to make way for new affordable housing. And opposite is this park. I hope they intend to do something about this park because not only is it in a terrible state, but I saw a few rats darting around. I tried to capture one zoomed in, so sorry for the quality here, but if you look closely, you'll see a rat scurrying along. It also looked like someone had been sleeping on this mattress right next to the park. This shopping district had women working the road in broad daylight, which I couldn't film. There were homeless people, people drinking, and I saw some shady characters driving around slowly, checking out what I was doing. Here is the Working Men's Social Club, which were a staple for industrial areas like this. The Magistrates Court and Police Station are also situated in Chalvi. With such a high crime rate, it will come as no surprise that there are some pretty wild headlines coming out of this area. I won't go through them as it's endless really. I hate to say it, but if you're visiting Slough or even thinking of moving there, you'd be wise to avoid Chalvi altogether. So that about wraps it up for this video. My aim was to give you an honest look inside Slough that you wouldn't get elsewhere, and I hope I achieved that. I don't want to end on a depressing note, but I think it also demonstrates some of the problems the UK is facing right now. As always, all comments and feedback are welcome. And before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Thank you very much.